How's it going, guys? My name is Zach with The Movie Castle, and today we're going to be talking about Tales from the Dark Side. This is Season 1, Episode 7, and this episode's entitled Slippage. This is from November 11th, 1984, and is directed by Michael Gornick and stars David Patrick Kelly. This is based on a short story by Michael Cube McDowell, and is uh, the teleplay was adapted by Mark Durand. And this is one of those Tales from the Dark Side episodes that gets super scary and dark because it's based on a real concept, a real thing that people fear, and then extrapolated, taken to an extreme, and it really just gets in your head and starts to mess with you. This episode really does have a lot of emotion behind it. Um, this is about a man who's been forgotten about in several ways. At first, it's a little thing. Someone forgets to tell him about something or give him something, or he's been forgotten in, in bigger ways. And it starts to get bigger and bigger. It starts to escalate. And this man is worried that the world itself, time itself, is going to forget about him. He's worried he's going to slip away. And boy, that's deep and dark. That really does strike a chord. I mean, how many times have you been forgotten about? And, you know, it's just, it's one of the worst feelings to feel forgotten about. It really does get at you. It really does hurt. And it, it can be in little things, you know, like how many times, how many times have you, like, sat down to eat with friends at a restaurant and everybody's food comes but yours? They forgot about you and you're left sitting there with no food watching everyone else eat? Or how many times has it been your birthday and you're hoping that someone will do something for you, there'll be a surprise and people will, you know, show up and then it turns out it's your birthday but no one really cares, like, at all? I mean, there's so many little ways that, you know, you want life to remember you and treat you nicely, but ultimately it just forgets. And it's one of those deep, dark concepts. I don't know if it gets said enough, but Tales from the Dark Side, it kind of feels like the Twilight Zone, but written by, like, an older guy that got beaten down by the world. Like, there's so many episodes of Dark Side that are just really about how life can screw you over. I mean, just look at a few of the past episodes. The New Man... The new man was about an alcoholic. He's recovering, and he's doing the right thing. But then something supernatural starts to happen to him, and everybody just goes, uh, you're on the wagon again, and blows this poor guy off. And take a look at the episode Painkiller. This guy, he's trying his best. All of a sudden, physical pain comes out of nowhere, and he's in pain all the time, and his wife just doesn't care about him. And it gets to the point where the doctor offers him a, a deep and dark ultimatum, and he might actually take it. So there's lots of episodes of Dark Side that are just about real-life cruelty, things that people know and can relate to, push to extremes for TV and to make a point, but there is, like, solid founding here in the idea that people will forget about you and move on with their everyday lives. It's a really dark thought, but one that we can relate to, and this episode really does hit home. It really strikes a chord. I mean, as I was going to play this, I read the description. I'm like, oh, this one's going to be a doozy, and it really is. This is going to be one that I'm definitely going to think about for a while. I'm definitely going to remember it, and yeah, this really does strike a chord, and yeah, I, I really do recommend this dark side just hitting with the emotions. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and talk a bit about the plot. I'm not going to be doing any major spoilers, but I do want to say my piece on a few of the plot points and make sure you guys have a basic understanding as to what this episode's about. We open up with this guy. He's a graphic designer, and you think, oh, that sounds really cool, uh, but it winds up he's doing, like, illustrations for vacuum cleaner instruction manuals or something like that. So not quite the dream job you think. His boss comes in, 
and is like, oh, get to work, and he's handing out the paychecks, and he goes, huh, your paycheck's missing. You're going to have to take that up with uh, the payroll people on your lunch break, of course. Not going to do that right now. i got to get to work. So that's sort of like the whole reason why you're at this job. Yeah, we're just going to forget about it. Well, the boss leaves and he talks to his friend. You know, at least he's got a friend that actually likes him and cares about him at his work. And his friend goes, what? Oh, man, um, they're going to really be sad when we leave this company. You see, him and his friend have applied to another company that's going to pay them way better. They say probably like twice as good. And the friend actually has some news. He got the job. He's going to go on to a better life. But your main character here? He's been forgotten about. He hasn't got this phone call in. And he goes and he talks to the people on the phone. Uh, he calls the, the company he wants to work for. And people have forgotten to send in documents. You know, his original birth certificate was destroyed but they have a new one coming and the copy is going to get to them, but it should have gotten there already, but people have forgotten to send it. And, oh, the college is supposed to send his transcript records so they can verify his education, and he asked for that months ago, but people just aren't sending the proper paywork where it needs to go. Really, this is bureaucracy for you. Uh, this is like a micro version of Brazil in this one little scene. Uh, I'm, I'm, okay, maybe I'm exaggerating, but still, yeah, bureaucracy. But on top of all that, someone's actually misplaced his portfolio. And I've seen a few portfolios in my days. They're, they're pretty big. You think it'd be hard to lose, but his portfolio with all his work on it, it's just lost. And yeah, it really, really hits you. Now he goes home and he has a nice wife who loves and supports him and it's a good marriage. There, there's actual love there and at least he has that. But he looks at the mail and he finds a few things in it. Uh, one, he ha he's, uh, he's still subscribed to his hometown newspaper so he can see what's going on in his hometown and it turns out they, uh, they're destroying his old high school. And that's, of course, a big thing. But uh, because of this, ha they had an impromptu reunion. So there was a high school reunion to celebrate the old high school before they tore it down. And that happened a couple days ago, and no one invited him. All his friends from his hometown, the people who he grew up with, just forgot to invite him to this big final hurrah. And that really is going to hit home, and that's going to cut him. But he also looks in the mail, and he finds letters to his wife with her maiden name, not her new married name, but her old name, and one of them is a registry for their car, which they both should own, but only her name is on the registry, so they've forgotten about him here, and also only her name on the registry, he starts to, even though his wife loves him, he starts to suspect you know, my wife knew my friend before she knew me, and now my friend's successful. What if she's planning on leaving me for him? And it's, you know, something that should be completely unfounded, but the way the world's treating him, he, he can't help but to suspect. And it really is sad because his wife really does love him. She's like, hey, let's watch a movie, let's have fun. And she actually pulls out It's a Wonderful Life. In case you couldn't tell... This episode's like a sick, twisted version of It's a Wonderful Life. But the episode, you really start to know something's happening, and it's more than just people forgetting about him. It's something bigger, because all this stuff is weighing on his head. So he goes back to his hometown to talk to his mom, and his mom doesn't remember him. His mom goes, well, I would have remembered if I had a son, and that... That really hit hard. It's the, the midpoint of the episode. It's where things start to turn. And to be honest, I had to pause the, the DVD and just kind of take a moment to process this. I'm like, oh man, this is, this is dark. And, you know, I took a minute to sit and process and then, you know, finish the rest of the episode. And I won't spoil the second half. 
needless to say, it gets bigger and snowballs, and it gets pretty dark in the end, too. And overall, I definitely would recommend this episode. It really just does hit home on the emotions. And yeah, it could have been a more complicated story. You could have dug into this more. You could have maybe dug into the explanation of the supernatural. Why is this happening, maybe? I, I don't know. This is one of those Dark Side episodes. A really, really solid concept that I feel that if this was an hour long, they really could have dug into it more. But it's still really good, just really solid foundation. It's one of those episodes that makes you want to, once it's over, go and tell the people you care about, your friends and family, I, I remember you, I care for you, D it's okay. And yeah, it really does get in your head and play off something that we all fear, you know. There's no big monsters, any overly scary stuff, but it is more scary than a lot of other stuff with big monsters or ghosts or something. It just really has a solid chord rooted in reality, and that really does get in your head and start to mess with you. Just how real yet over the top it feels, you know? Really, really hard-hitting episode, and I definitely would recommend it. Uh, to everyone who's watched so far, thank you for watching. And uh, to everyone who's liked and subscribed, thank you. You really are helping the channel out. I'll leave a relevant playlist on the bottom. This should be my Tales from the Dark Side playlist. I've covered the first six episodes on there already. And I've also covered the Christmas episodes uh, back in December. And that includes the Clive Barker episode. And I also have covered the uh, comic, the Joe Hill comic based on the TV show that never happened. Uh, so yeah, I've got a few videos in that playlist. Anyway, have a good day. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Tales from the Dark Side playlist on the bottom if you want to see more. Have a good day now.